This video presentation was developed for the Chairman's Award to illustrate the partnership between the Mountain Home High School and the Baxter Healthcare Corporation. On January 11th, the Baxter Healthcare Corporation facility in Mountain Home, Arkansas was personally challenged by our Chief Executive Officer, Vernon Laux, to sponsor a team to compete in the 1996 U.S. First Design Competition. Baxter Healthcare approached Principal James Simmons and the Mountain Home High School Bombers with the opportunity to become a member of the U.S. First team. Upon acceptance of the challenge, Baxter Healthcare presented the U.S. First Design Competition to the faculty and students of the Mountain Home High School. The presentations were well received and resulted in over 70 student applicants to be part of the U.S. First Design team. The high school faculty had the enormous responsibility of reviewing all the applications and choosing only 20 students to be part of the team. Being chosen in U.S. First has been an honor to me because it's given me the opportunity to learn more about the engineering trade and to work with others. I've had the opportunity to learn more about people that I'm working with that I usually wouldn't have had the chance to otherwise. Um, I would encourage any high school student, if they have the opportunity, to get involved in this project. It's meant to be that I know how to work with others, know how to challenge what I never thought I could do. I can stretch the limits on what I can brainstorm, and I can finish, and I can see the finished product once we get it done, mm -hmm. see how it's going. The team's first meeting was held on February 1st at the Baxter Healthcare facility. The first thing the team did at the meeting was go around the room and have everyone introduce themselves. This was important because the team would be spending many hours together over the next six weeks. The students then had their pictures taken for their U.S. First badge, which allows them to enter Baxter's facility. Next. Baxter engineers presented the details of the U.S. First competition to the students and reviewed the plant's safety and security policies. Shortly after the first meeting, the team's family and friends were invited to the Baxter plant on a Saturday to get acquainted with each other and to be introduced to the U.S. First competition. A presentation involving the students and a tour of the U.S. First construction area was given to the guests explaining the details of the competition. The details of the Walt Disney World trip were discussed and the parents were invited to join the team in Orlando. Since Brian has been involved with U.S. First, my wife and I have both seen a real change in him. And the change has been a dedication to a project that he has not had before in that this is a short-term, very intensive project that has demanded uh, a large amount of his time, but we have noticed not only that he's been here every time that U.S. First has been going, but he has also kept up his schoolwork, he's stayed involved with his other school activities, and he's actually doing better in every other aspect of his school life I think it's given her more confidence in herself as a person. Um, just being chosen to participate in the program was a big boost to her ego. And the, the kind of um, relationships that have developed between the adults and the kids, um, I think that's made her feel almost adult-like. She's really enjoyed it. Well, I think she, she started out just really excited about U.S. First and about, we hear each night about the brainstorming that was going on and about the different ideas. And then we heard step by step about some ideas didn't work and this worked and they had to go back and try new things. And um, so that was a lot of fun for her. And then uh, we heard one night the step by step intricate process of putting together the button box and how they found all the parts and how they stuck them together, the grommets. And we hear a lot about U.S. First, and, and it's all good. She's, she's busy, she's um, gone a lot, and 
uh, but when we see her, she has good things to say about U.S. First and is, is really enjoying it. Enjoying working with the variety of people, working with the adults, working with the other students, especially working with Baxter Healthcare. Uh, she's very impressed with the people here. She's impressed with the uh, expense and time and effort that they're putting in to make this a quality production. It's been a good experience for her. The next several meetings were used to develop teamwork and brainstorming skills. The concept of last year's competition was used to come up with ideas of how a competitive robot would have been built. This meeting was important because it taught the team how to solve problems by breaking up into groups, developing possible solutions, and presenting the ideas to the other groups for evaluation. Always productive, the group decided upon their team name this night. The result? the Baxter Bomb Squad. The decision was made to call the machine Two Minute Warning. On Saturday, February 10th, we sent team members to Manchester, New Hampshire for the national kickoff meeting to pick up the design requirements for the 1996 robot. A copy of the requirements was faxed to the Baxter Healthcare plant as soon as they were received. Baxter Healthcare has set up a U.S. First phone line at the plant that contains project updates and important information for the team. This was real helpful because the team was able to find out when the rules were available at the plant so they could get a copy and start thinking. Monday, February 12th, was the team's first official meeting with the 1996 design requirements. It was decided that one of the most important strategies was to fully understand the playing field. A full-scale replica of the actual playing field was erected in the U.S. First design area at the Baxter Healthcare plant. The team was then able to run experiments on the exact playing field and determine if their ideas would work. Afterward, the team broke up into groups and began brainstorming. By the end of the first night, the team had several possible robot designs. 